I'm going to spend a little time this morning talking about how I measure a rocker and how I duplicate boards. I get a lot of questions about what the best method is to measure a rocker. I use an aluminum rocker bar. It's a straight edge. I have a mark in the center to have the exact balance point. I always reference the center of the board. So this board is going to be six foot long. So I mark three feet in the center, balance it perfectly on that center point. And so the rocker bar naturally rests level. People always ask me about leveling the blank before I do this. You don't have to. The rocker bar will naturally sit right. And so here's to prove it. I got my rocker measurement. Even if I lift the blank up or down, it's still two inches no matter what I do. So you can be as accurate as you want. So for example, I have every two inches on this board, so two inches. I have marks. I have my spec sheet. So I reference the rockers at these points. If I need to change something, I use my planer or a sure form or any other tool, sandpaper even works to get your rock right. But I hit my numbers on each one of these marks. Once I get that perfect, then I can flip the board over, make these same marks on the deck, reference the thickness to that rocker, then you have the perfect foil every time. You have the perfect rocker, perfect foil, then all you have to do is set your rails. So a lot of people lately have been asking me about the sag. They say, well, it's not accurate because the board sags on the rack. Well, technically it does because it's resting on the points here and the center of the board is sagging a little bit under its own weight. So if that's the case, you just balance the board on the center under the rocker stick. The sag goes away. In, in a three foot span on a blank, you're not sagging at all. So, same. You can eliminate that that argument right away. Some people tell me the rocker bar sags. It, it doesn't sag. In a four foot span on a one foot aluminum bar, there's not a noticeable measurement of sag at all. So it's plenty accurate. It's, at, it's as accurate as you can measure, so that's good enough for me. So my rocker's set. This is definitely overkill on the measurements, but just to show you guys I measure it every two inches to show you how accurate I can be. I've done it every one inch just for certain customers that are pretty anal about their <laughs> their board numbers. But basically, you could do tip six inches, twelve inches, center, and the same with nose, and you're going to get a pretty much perfect rocker just off of those minimal measurements.